LeBron James took it to Twitter and was not holding back. He held no punches on the fans, the disgusting fans that bring Isaiah Thomas to Jersey. Basically let him know it wasn't his fault. But is there a foreshadowing here? Basically gave everybody the business that was burning Isaiah Thomas' jersey. And rightfully so. Isaiah Thomas didn't do anything wrong. The man was traded. He was traded partially due to his hip injury. But mainly because the Boston Celtics did not want to pay, pay a player 5'9 the max deal. Which he obviously deserved. He let, he led the Celtics to the uh, number one seed in the Eastern Conference. And he led them to the Western, the Eastern Conference Finals. You gotta remember, they went to a Game Seven against the uh, Washington Wizards, beat them. That was basically through Isaiah Thomas playmaking. Get to the Eastern Conference Finals, he gets injured. Danny Ainge is like, I'm not gonna pay this guy, so he trades him. Fans start burning his jerseys, and LeBron just went on a crazy uh, Twitter rant, just letting people know like this is not right. You know, when the players make a decision. You guys want to burn their jerseys, but when the owners make a decision, it's all good. In this case, it wasn't even IT making a decision. He just got traded. So what are you guys doing? So that points out to the fact that a lot of NBA fans just aren't knowledgeable on what takes place in the day-to-day -day business of the NBA. All they want to do is talk about their favorite player, debate if he's the best or not, talk about shoes. But when it comes to the business side, they don't know diddly squat. And that's kind of sad because the NBA is a business and fans should understand the business before they get into uproar, before they get upset. But this Twitter rant basically is a foreshadowing of things to come. LeBron James is going to leave. And he's basically letting fans know, look, man, you can't burn this guy's jersey because when I leave, I don't want you guys burning my jersey. I brought you guys the title and I'm leaving. That's that. Okay? So... <laughs> It's basically a foreshadowing. He's letting you guys know that it's okay for a player to leave if he's a free agent. Like what Gordon Hayward did. They burned his jersey. LeBron was condemning that as well. Like why are you guys burning his jersey when he's making the best decision for his family? When players make the, the decision for themselves, you know, it's, it's the end of the world. When the owners make a decision, it's a business move. Well, LeBron James is saying it's okay for players to make business moves. He's trying to parallel his future decision to leave Cleveland again to Isaiah Thomas getting traded, which is two different things, which kind of is kind of sad, but in a way it's kind of smart because if he does leave, he'll basically tell you guys, look, I told you guys months ago on Twitter, it's okay for me to make a business decision for myself. And the best decision for me is to leave Cleveland. He is letting everybody know in not so many words he's leaving. He didn't want to uh, give David Black commitment when he was trading Kyrie Irving uh, potentially to the Suns. He 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 uh, he's on Twitter defending these players, letting them know you know letting people know that hey man you can't burn these guys jerseys even though these people bought the jersey and they basically could do whatever they want with it, wipe their ass with it if they wanted to. But LeBron James is coming out for players. He's he's creating a strong defense for player mobility. He's prom promoting player mobility, and not just via trades. He's saying that players should have the right to go where they please anytime they are a free agent. And he's letting you guys know he's a free agent after this season. He's leaving. So don't burn his jersey because he already told you months in advance he's not staying. This is Vlad from Hoops Junction, Hoops Me Supla. Peace.